Three-week-old Ashton Julian naps contently in her bassinet inside the pediatric intensive care unit at the University of Kansas Hospital. Just two days earlier, her parents, Gina and Jared, knew something was terribly wrong. This baby from day one has never been a yeah. huge crier, and this child had been screaming. So she was very stiff and then very ragdoll limp and then kind of not super responsive. And later that night, she again projectiled, at which point in time, we just were, yeah, she's going back wrong. to the hospital. Ashlyn had suffered a stroke in the strictest sense of the word, not once, but twice she bled from an aneurysm or weak spot in the blood vessel deep inside her brain. Something so rare in neonates or infants less than 28 days old, there are only 17 known cases since 1949, explained brain surgeon Koji Ebersol. She's so small and she bled two times that the brain was imminently angry. If we do not do something, this aneurysm is going to take her life. Yeah. So you're willing to take on a fair amount of risk. Doctors have been fixing aneurysms surgically for 50 years, but with infants, each drop of blood is so precious, Dr. Ebersol did not want to cut into Ashlyn's brain. Surgery has always been the mainstay. In adults, this procedure here Entry here is extremely well tolerated. In kids, you can get internal bleeding that is hard to detect. Using instruments as small as a pencil lead and a strand of human hair, Dr. Ebersol maneuvered a drop of sterile superglue through Ashlyn's body to her brain. It was his colleague, Dr. Alan Reeves, an interventional radiologist, who determined Ashlyn's tiny blood vessels, about the size of angel hair pasta, could tolerate the procedure. There would have been no procedure if we can't get into this blood vessel. Yeah. Dr. Reeves found a path starting at Ashlyn's hip. Once inside, Dr. Ebersol delivered the life-saving superglue in less than 30 minutes. I was essentially giving myself a time frame. I, in my mind, I said, I have to accomplish this in a, in a very short amount of time, this is either going to work quickly or we're going to call this a day, figure out what this is, and then go to the operating room. Doctors don't know why Ashlyn suffered a brain bleed. Her parents say it's hard to comprehend. They are overwhelmed and overjoyed she is safe. I think she can have a normal life. It was like a huge weight. Yeah. Huge weight lifted. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like you could actually breathe finally yeah. for the first time in a week. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.